Welcome aboard the UC Vigilance. Did you have any questions before I escort you to the Commander? I'm not authorized to divulge information about this vessel. Suffice to say, it's one of the toughest ships in the UC's arsenal. Yeah, listen to him. Carefully. The Commander's a one-and-done kind of officer. In other words, he hates to repeat himself. Other than that, just observe standard military decorum, and it should keep you from serving any time on the ship's cleaning detail. Understood? If you'd follow me, please. So, you're the vanguard that took down that Terramorph on Tau City. You've made quite an impression around here. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Damn. That must have been one hell of a firefight. I almost regret missing out on all the fun. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the Vigilance, but we have our moments. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. something important to discuss? Hello. Ah, there you are. Commander Kibwe Kande, UC Sistef. Glad to have you aboard. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Duala's offer. UC Sistef is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle big picture stuff, we deal specifically with pirates. Since you're already involved with the Vanguard, I don't have to underline how important your contribution will be to the security of our spaceways. Yes, I know. I was intentionally vague when I advised Mast of my needs. But rest assured, I'll answer all your questions in due time. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia. So you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. If I didn't have confidence in your abilities, I would have told Commander Tuala to send someone else. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sistef, You'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. To put it simply, 
You can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. I don't want promises. I'm just asking you to think. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance, and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. You have your orders. Hey. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Let me know if you need anything else. Excuse me. <clears throat> yes. What? If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Hmm. 
Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hard to handle, though. What else you got? If the Trade Authority is not interested, that says a great deal. All I'm going to point out is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Just demand the extra credits up front next time. These games are juvenile and tiresome. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Do you need something? Don't be caught on the Martian surface without proper protective gear. All outside surface activities require the use of a certified safety seat. I sure hope this hearing loss isn't permanent. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Yeah, well, she isn't running the show here. I am. I see no good reason why we should have any extra dealings with the likes of you. Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. We need to make an example out of this guy. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable-looking guy in the entire place. Debating spiritual philosophy. It'll be just like the last time. No, not. Is Mars treating you well? Something I can help you with? Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? Adler, you said? Nope. 
I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun. Adler, uh, Adler, Adler. Oh, wait, you mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. <laughs> I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? He can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Clearly this man has never seen how hard I can squeeze. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Hmm. I might be able to take up a collection from some of my buddies. Sure, I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven day shift. I don't know, please. Tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Be careful down near the mine. something for me? Then get back out there and stop wasting my time. Yes? Have something for me? There, would you look at that. I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? If you haven't figured that out by now, then maybe you aren't cut out for our line of work. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place.